Hey, I'm Thomas, and this is my Lumex S5. I've been using it for a few weeks now, and it's definitely growing on me. I was a little hesitant to move up to a full frame Panasonic camera from my Micro Four Third one because Panasonic's autofocus sucks. Over the next few days, I'm going to put the S5's autofocus to the test at home and on a few client projects. My main focus, <laughs> get it, I said focus, never mind. My objective is to see how reliable the S5's face eye detection autofocus mode is. So, can we trust the Lumex S5's face eye detection? Well, let's find out. Today's film session is part of a branding video that I am making for Dana Lee Jones Photography. It's the first of several shoots we have planned for her promo. She'll be getting glammed up and I'll be capturing BTS of her photo session. Sometimes it hurts. For this shoot, I'm at the W Midtown Hotel to create a piece that showcases their new Elevate space. But thinking of hers, I don't wanna know, don't want you to go and leave me behind. Day in the shoot, I start things off with the Lumex 20 to 60 millimeter. Let's customize our autofocus settings by jumping into the S5's menu and going to the focus tab. Here, we will click on set, and for our first test, I'm going to set my AF speed and AF sensitivity both to plus three. My first test, I want to go from my LED light back to Dana's face to see how quickly it will lock on and get her in focus. Hmm. Definitely some pulsing on the light, but it seems to lock on to Dana's face rather quickly. We'll definitely need to do more tests. There is nothing more for me to show. Back at the W Hotel, I start things off filming the room's decor. I typically get these type of shots using manual focus, so let's jump ahead to the shot I got of our model. I want to experiment with a few other autofocus modes before we jump into the human AF mode. For my first shot, I use the AF tracking mode to follow the model's ring. Halfway down, it stops tracking the ring and latches onto her dress. It still worked for the shot. For this shot, I used the one area AF mode. And what is cool is the fact that you can enable human detection, which I do. I have my AF speed and AF sensitivity both set to plus three for the shot, which is in a pretty dark area, other than the heart shaped light in the shot. And then for the next shot, I adjust the AF speed to plus five and keep the sensitivity to plus three. I noticed a lot more pulsing when I increased the AF speed to plus five. Dana's makeup completely done, it's time for her to start her photo shoot. So let's talk about the S5's face detection mode and vlog, which is what I shoot in most of the time. The S5 definitely locks on much quicker when I use the Lumex 20 to 60 millimeter lens. It's still pretty good with the Sigma 35 millimeter, but it takes an extra second to lock on. So here's a shot with the 20 to 60 millimeter at f3.5, and this shot is with the Sigma 35 millimeter at f2.2 in vlog. For both shots, I have the custom AF speed set to zero and the AF sensitivity set to plus three. I found that I got way less pulsing when I lowered the AF speed to zero. I got this shot with the Sigma 35 millimeter at f1.4. I should point out when you are using the AF human detect mode, it will still focus on other objects pretty well. It will just prioritize faces. You know, it took two to break us down. Today, I'm putting my findings to the test as my buddy Mark Aiello is interviewing me for his latest YouTube video. I connected the S5 to my MacBook Pro via USB-C cable. I used the Feel World monitor so that I could get a bigger view of myself. And for the S5's autofocus settings, I set the AF sensitivity to plus three and the AF speed to zero, just like I did for Dana shoot. As you guys look at the background, there is still some pulsing, but my face stays in focus pretty much the whole time. And I think it worked pretty well for what I was doing. But don't fret, I think we can remove more of that pulsing. Okay guys, just a quick plug for myself, five seconds. I just completed my new website. It's where I'm gonna house all of my blogs, reviews, and moving forward, all of my educational subscription-based content. So for that website, I actually needed to make an intro video for my new community page. So 
This time, the custom AF settings I used were with my AF sensitivity set to plus three and my AF speed set to negative two. To me, this is by far the best settings when filming yourself when using the human AF mode. As you can see, the pulsing is minimal and I stay in focus the whole time. So I will definitely be using this for more videos, especially when I'm doing shots of myself at distances where I'm too far from the camera to adjust the camera lens manually. So today is the second shoot for the Brandon video that I'm creating for Dana. This time, Dana is taking the pictures. I am ready to put everything I learned thus far to the test. I believe if I keep the S5's AF speed at zero or lower and the AF sensitivity at plus three, I will get the best autofocus results today. I'll only be using the Lumex 20 to 60 millimeter lens for the shoot and I'll be doing everything handheld. I'm gonna start with a backlit shot of Dana. I have found that the autofocus locks on much quicker when filming in the standard picture profile. I see no pulsing at all. Let's switch the vlog now. My AF speed is set to negative two and my AF sensitivity is set to plus three. It takes about a half a second to lock on a Dana's face, but then we are good to go. I switch over to her client and again, it takes about a half a second to lock on. Okay, I zoom in, one Mississippi, two Mississippi. Okay, about one and a half seconds to lock on. But I really liked how smooth the focus was at negative two for the AF speed. So this is a little experiment I wanna try. I leave the AF sensitivity at plus three as always, and I change my AF speed to negative five. I'm really curious to see how quick the focus will adjust when you switch subjects at such a slow AF speed. It actually made the transition really quick. Okay, now I feel like the S5 is just showing off. <laughs> I found that you will by far get the best autofocus results when you film in 1080p. For this shot, I set my AF speed back to negative two and the AF sensitivity is still at plus three. I also wanted to mention that the autofocus still does work when filming at 120 frames per second. So let's try that out. So this shot is a little noisy as it's getting dark, but the focus looks pretty good. It does pulse for a second at the beginning of the shot, but as Dana comes down the stairs, it stays in focus the whole time. After filming for a few weeks with the S5 and testing out the autofocus, as I said, I believe you'll get the best results if you keep the autofocus speed at zero or below. As I said before, and as you guys have seen, if you watch my videos, I do film myself a lot. I'm not vain, I promise you. So in situations where you don't have anyone to adjust focus for you, having a camera with reliable autofocus is super helpful. I actually purchased some Bam pasta and Bam chips after I watched a promo that Peter Rosla made for his client Bam Snack, where he used the Lumex S5. I love supporting other creators, so after I watched his video, I purchased snacks. So for this shot, I have the S5 AF set to negative one. I would have gotten less pulsing if I would have set it to negative two, but I think this shot still works. No potatoes, no corn, sea salt, I like them. Now this is really important. The glass that you are using is going to make a big difference in how well the autofocus works. I currently only have two AF lenses for my S5, but out of the two, the Panasonic lens works the best. So we need to talk about the S5's Achilles heel when it comes to autofocus, and that happens when subjects walk toward the camera. I won't show you all of the shots I did, but I did a lot of tests looking for the best settings for these type of shots when you have a subject walking towards the camera. Woo! And all of my tests, filming at 1080p at 60 frames per second, gave me by far the best results of any other resolution and frame rate out of the S5. Here's a shot of our model at the W Hotel walking towards the camera, and I had the AF speed set to plus five. And as you can see, the camera really struggled and went out of focus as she got closer to the camera. But now check this out. Here's a shot of me in 4K walking towards the camera, and I now have the AF speed set to negative one. 
Here's another shot of me walking towards the camera again in 1080p and I have the autofocus speed set to negative one and it works even better in 1080p. So for all of the people that are still here, I also did a few tests using the S5's Animal Detect. I used the Lumex 20-60mm to lens for all of these shots and I had the AF speed set to negative one and the sensitivity set to plus three and it worked flawlessly. It kind of made me want to make a whole video on the S5's animal detection, but maybe it's just because I love my dogs. <laughs> So I'm going to end this video in a similar way to how I started it. Hey, I'm Thomas and this is my Lumex S5. I've been using it for a few weeks now on several client and personal projects and I'm really starting to like this camera. And at least with the Panasonic S5 with the right settings and the right lens, the autofocus doesn't suck. Peace. Been a little bit too long since I Yeah. <laughs>